Good morning, everyone. My name is Sun Yubo, and I'm delighted to be here today to present our work on the Vivid SOD challenge. Our team name is Minivision, and we are composed of Kuang Yitian, Sun Yubo, Jiang Kaixiang, and Hu Jianguo. We are from the Artificial Intelligence Research Department at Minivision in Nanjing, China. The title of our presentation is SOD Task Solution Leveraging Enhanced Self Reformer. In this presentation, we will discuss the methods we use to achieve the top performance result on the VV's SOD challenge. Here are our team members and contact information. Please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Salient object detection is a challenging yet important task in computer vision, which aims to generate a binary mask for the image, indicating which pixels belong to the foreground and which belong to the background. As shown in this slide, the box is considered as a salient object. Therefore, in the output image, the region corresponding to the box is filled with 255 to represent the foreground. In this computation, our team used three different datasets, the official dataset, the open source dataset, and the synthetic dataset. I'd like to mainly talk about our method to creating the synthetic data. As displayed in the figure on the right, we initially selected an image from the training dataset. Then we fit it into the blip model together with the prompt, what is the salient object in this picture? This process enables us to predict the salient object within this image and acquire its corresponding caption. In this example, the output generated by Bleep was food. Then we took the original image, the corresponding mask, and the caption we got from Bleep and fit them into the stable diffusion model. And we use its impending feature to create synthetic image data associated with the salient object food. Finally, we pass the generated image through SAM model to obtain the salient object mask for this image. This method greatly expanded our training data by generating additional examples. In this computation, our team used the self-reformer as the base model for salient object detection. You can see the network architecture here. First, the input image goes through the image encoder, which produces multi-scale feature maps. These feature maps are then sent to the global context branch to capture overall contact information. These feature maps along with the global contact information are then processed in the local context branch. The output from this branch is compared to the ground truth and used to calculate the loss for improving the network. For more detailed information about the network, please check the corresponding paper below. In the baseline, we use the original image encoder of self-reformer, which is PVTV2. And our improvements primarily focus on the image encoder component. We experiment with different architectures, including self swing transformer, blip encoder, SM encoder, and Dano V2 encoder. Swing transformer has demonstrated excellent performance across various tasks, so we prioritize its usage. But Bleep Encoder, SM Encoder, and Dano V2 Encoder are all part of the VIT series, which by default cannot output the multi-scale feature maps required by the image encoder. So to solve this problem, we borrowed the tokens-to-tokens -tokens operation from the VST network, which converts the input image into multi-scale features. The tokens-to-tokens -tokens operation is shown in this picture. Once the input goes through the transformer layer, it is transformed into multiple tokens, and these tokens are then reshaped and merged with the adjacent tokens to create new ones, effectively reducing token lines and achieving downsamplings. By connecting multiple T2T modules, continuous downsampling is achieved, resulting in multi-scale features. The overall structure of the VIT plus T2T image encoder is shown as here. In self-reformer, the image encoder needs to output for different scale feature maps. Here we experiment with Bleep encoder, SAM encoder, and Dano V2, as they have undergone extensive training for relevant tasks, and, and thus will give us a better pre-trained weight. Now let's talk about the trick section. We tried out model fusion by combining the outputs of self-reformer with different image encoders. We also experiment with different binary thresholds. And finally, we applied an erosion operation to the mask result. 
Moving on to the experimental results section. Here, the term resize validation pertains to our testing on the resize validation side. We conducted this testing to fa facilitate bench inference and speed up the overall testing process. Although the performance on the resized validation side might be slightly lower compared to the results without it, the overall trends of the metrics remain consistent. We started by evaluating different training data sites, and as shown in this table, the official data set gave, gave the better performance, so we only used the official data set in the further experiments. Then we compared the results achieved with different image encoders. Swing V2 base has the best results, since it has the highest number of parameters among all the listed models. And the last three rows display the result obtained with the VIT architectures. Dino V2 stands out, leading us to choose the larger Dino V2 VIT large as our image encoder for further experiments. Let's take a look at the final result of our method on the test data set. Our method achieved an impressive IOU of 0.94 on the test challenge data set. Finally, our method outperformed our larger teams, earning us the first place position on the public leaderboard of the Vivid SOD challenge. Thank you all for your attention and support. Have a nice day.